With less than two weeks to go for the penultimate leg of the Spa Ladies Race in Centurion, the fourth in the series, the event organisers have introduced a number of new aspects. Paramount is the capping of the field entries to 25,000, but it's still the biggest race in the country and one of the biggest women's races in the world, but it's more than just a race. Really the Spa Pretoria Women's uh, Challenge is, is different because it's been running for 16 years and this is our 16th year and really we've transformed it into more than just a race, it's actually an event. Um, and it's really an event where it doesn't just cater for professional runners or casual runners, it's about uh, it catering for all la women from all walks of life, where they can come out and enjoy themselves on the day and really celebrating women and giving them a platform where they can, can come in and, and celebrate themselves. And what better event to look into finding the next generation of stars? Well this year the development angle uh, being different to previous years is where we've actually opened up the, the, uh, the race or the event to our junior categories where we can identify future stars and future uh, leaders coming through. Um, really also going to be administered to the Athletic Scouting North. It's a national competition where we have runners from KZN, uh, Western Cape all competing uh, in this competition and on the day that's going to create an exciting change. The revelation of the 2013 season has been Mapaseka Makanya, who leads the overall Grand Prix standings comfortably. That doesn't mean her rivals can expect an easy time. I'm expecting a whole lot of competition than the previous race. Uh, everyone is looking forward to the race and it's the very same people, the likes of Renee, Yvette, Rutendo and even the Padula twin. So it's going to be a tough race because everybody wants to be in the lead. Moving from the track to the road for me, it has been a great move and I'm so happy about how I've been performing and I have been making uh, improvement on every race I've ran. Like the previous Spa Ladies, every race I'm running, I'm making progress and I'm, I'm hoping the next two will be as great as the first three. Zimbabwe's Rutendo Nyahora won the first two races and although not eligible for the Grand Prix prize, she's looking for yet another win. Oh, it's like uh, for the first uh, spa ladies, I was training hard and because even this year my aim was to win uh, one of those spa ladies. Then when I went the spa ladies, I was having like, uh, I was having confidence. Then I went for the second race, I went again. But for the third race, I was strong, truly speaking, I was strong compared to another race, but it's not that I lose focus because I was having too much pressure on, oh, on myself. Then I, I, I end up losing my focus. But now I'm ready for the next pilot. So I'm preparing for it. I don't know what is going to happen, but I'm ready for it. Yeah, there's uh, Krishna Kauma, there's, um, uh, there's the sister uh, Renee Kauma. She's coming back because even when we ran in Deben, I can see that she's coming both back. So she's my target Kauma and your sister and my Pasika is wearing the label. They are my main target for the next paladies. The paladies are in Victoria. Like now, I don't have plans for now because now I've cut my, my speed like uh, yesterday. So now I'm not yet like, uh, I can't say that I'm going to win or, but my aim is to win again this one because I'm here, I'm staying here in Pretoria. So I want it again. So now I can't promise that I'm 100% fit, but I'm still working on it now. Christine Karma is in second by mere eight points from Yvette Van Zale, but Van Zale is injured and may not run. I've got an eight point lead um, in front of the third place, and at Spa Pretoria, I'm really just hoping to um, keep opening that gap. With such a small lead, Christine Karma will not be able to rest on her laurels. I'll have to stay ahead in the race as well. <laughs> I think after um, the last races I see, I really have to work on my hills and also just try to stay positive throughout the race. Um, Victoria is always um, a bit different seeing that it's an afternoon race and it's usually the first hot day um, of the summer. So um, yeah, I'll have to um, train accordingly. Last year's champion, Renee Karma, has been battling with an injury for almost a year now and is hungry for the Centurion race. Um, yeah, my oefening and alles gaan weer goed. Um, ek is besering vry, ek geniet weer my atletiek, so ek sien radig uit um, na die spoor, na die reis in Pretoria. Um, en ek hoop om my titel succesvol te verdeerdag oor drie weke. Um, ek denk, soos bult is, wat die algemeen my sterk vind. Um, so ek denk, daar gaan ek voordeel hee. En um, gelukkig het ek my rehab en alles gedoen, so alle beserings, niggles, is iets van die verlede. 
So I think um, the moeilike route gaan definitief tot my voordeel taal. Het is kom naar die einde van die um, seizoen, um, die meisies is in Shaip, allemaal weet vir wie om nou uit te kyk. En um, ek denk spaar in een ongelooflike waar met die ontwikkeling van Vraat en Tiek um, in Zuid-Afrika, met die wetlippe, met spluit dwars dier die jaar gemotiveerd. En vooral nou in die wintertijd weet jy dat ons een spaar wetlippe aan die einde van die winter. So jy moet maar vroeg opstaan, oortoeknijp en gaan oefen.